Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I have some more appointments in the hospital tomorrow, so I am making this video a little earlier, but there are some things out there I thought I want to cover because we have a really, really abnormal situation of a robbery of cruise passengers at gunpoint. And then we also have a travel advisory for three destinations in the Caribbean where violent crime is on the rise and what to watch out for. So I want to cover that because I was just in one of the countries that they said, be careful. So the first story comes from Port Elizabeth, which is on the southern portion of South Africa. It is took port uh, place in a, in one of the fort system there. They had a small cruise ship was docked and 12 passengers were on a guided excursion. Normally a guided excursion is your safest bet out of any travel thing that you're doing, right? It, when you're wandering off by yourself and something happens, yeah, yeah, something can happen when you're off by yourself a lot more than if you're actually with a tour guide traveling around. But apparently, the cruise host, the guy who was guiding everybody around, was approached by a man on a, with a gun and told everybody that they were going to be robbed, basically, and the tour guide tried to you know, dissuade the man and talk to the man. In the meantime, while he was trying to do that, three other men came in and started taking people's belongings, cameras, wallets, phones, jewelry, anything they can get a hold of. And of course, what are you gonna do? One of the guys pointing a gun at you and you're in Africa. So you're not going to, you know, put up a fight or anything, uh, especially with your wife or possibly children with you as well. So they all returned back to the ship. Uh, the report was done to the police. The ship has set sail. As of now, no arrests have been made. Although the tourism industry and the, the police and everything have now put more security in various areas where tourists are, are visiting now, including the place where they were robbed. More uh, better security, better coverage. A little too late. Um, but this is a very bold move, right? Uh, to, to rob somebody at gunpoint in a popular popular area surrounded by a lot of people and uh, It just looks like they didn't care. Uh, they don't think the consequences are gonna happen. So it's just a word of warning It's a very unusual situation. You don't hear about that very often But you hear about people being robbed on their own, right? Well speaking of that here in Canada, they just put out a travel advisory for three different destinations in the Caribbean. One of them starting off with the Bahamas. And here's what they say for the Bahamas to avoid. They want you to avoid the uh, Nassau's Over the Hill, which is south of Shirley Street, and the Fish Fry areas, especially at night. Because normally when you go to Nassau, a lot of the cruises only go to Nassau and they stay there for like three nights. So a lot of people like to get out and do the sites and visit restaurants and things like that in the evening. They're saying that's basically the most dangerous times. Uh, stay, late to, stay alert to your surroundings at all time. Always a good idea. Don't walk alone, especially at night. Don't travel with a lot of cash on you. Don't travel with big expensive items showing like a big $10,000 camera or expensive jewelry for your night out. Avoid deserted beaches. Avoid anybody coming up to you and offering to help you or asking for things like the time or if you have a cigarette. That's normally their way to get up close and begin to rob you. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our, our natural nature is to, oh, sure, here you go, or it's this time, or most of us now don't carry a watch, they carry a cell phone, right? So what do you do? You take out your, it's, it's this o'clock at night, and there's your phone in full view for them to snatch and grab and run. So just a warning for the Bahamas, um, but one of the places I just came back from, Jamaica, 
and uh, they have a warning for Jamaica out there as well because they say while you're in the resorts you're relatively safe however there's been an uptick in sexual assaults by not only you know people breaking and entering and like not part but but resort staff on single women traveling alone or in groups of other people. Um, I paid a special careful because I was with a lot of single ladies on my last trip to Jamaica and I will admit there was a lot of this like what you don't see on a cruise ship you normally don't see the staff flirting with people but on resorts boy it was rampant. They were, you know, and you would see the single girls up at the bar and they would be getting extra heavy drinks, extra rum poured in there, Bob Marley's. And uh, I'm not saying they were doing anything wrong. I'm just saying that it was very out in the open that things could get out of hand pretty quickly, uh, especially when the nighttime arrives and a lot of the beach areas and the cabanas and places like that on resorts are dark. There's no lights out there and sometimes, you know, people just want to go out and take a quick, put your feet in the ocean at night in the dark and it's really calm and peaceful. You never know what can happen out there and I did notice this a lot, a lot of flirting around where you don't see that and that kind of came as a shock to me because you don't see that on the cruise ships. It's not allowed. You do not interact with passengers. You do not ask them personal questions. You can ask them where they're from, things like that, but you don't start asking them, are you here with your boyfriend? That happened a lot in the resorts when I was in Jamaica. So yeah, be careful out there. They also say, be careful of anybody going in your room. If you're approached by the military or the police, cooperate 100%. Uh, it's not like in Canada, United States, where you can sometimes just argue with the police and, and they're not going to do anything. Uh, in other countries, they'll do something. And quite often, the first time you stand up and mouth off to somebody, thinking like it's the same place, like you're back in here, um, the next thing you know, you're up against a car and arrested and thrown in jail. So it's not the same thing. Different laws, different places just cooperate say yes sir no sir <laughs> and that's the best way to get along in a foreign country when dealing with military and the police they also say in Jamaica to monitor the local news for any possible gang activity it, a lot of the things happening are not outright robbery or anything like that with people at resorts or on, des on cruise destinations or anything it's actually people getting caught in the action between one gang and another with crossfire and and just wrong place wrong time so monitor the situation to know what areas are dangerous i'm not trying to dissuade you from going on anything and like i say if you're going on an excursion from a cruise ship you're probably at pr pretty much the safest you're probably ever going to be in a foreign country so uh, yeah, off on your own are the dangers and uh, be careful if you're traveling alone, especially if you're female, have people who know who you are, where you are, and uh, be careful of those very flirty people working at the resorts because I noticed it, I noticed it a lot, unfortunately. And the last place they're talking about is the Dominican Republic. Now, they're saying to avoid certain areas. You wanna hear what they're telling you to avoid? <laughs> they're telling you to avoid all the incidents that are occurring, especially during the holiday and a rise in violent crimes are happening at, at resorts, at beaches, at airports, at bus stations, and on public transportation. <laughs> Where are you safe? <laughs> Basically, they're warning everybody to watch out for everything. They can even break into your vehicle and taxis have been known to be broken into at traffic lights and robbed at, at gunpoint. So don't keep your valuables in plain sight and hide. Don't carry around a lot of cash with you is the number one thing. And don't make a target of yourself. It's very easy to lose yourself in a cruise, uh, like on a 
a resort destination and you're traveling around, you're taking out your $2,500 iPhone and you're taking snapshots and you're Instagramming, you could be making a target of yourself. Or you get off in a cruise port and where's the first place you go? You head off to the jewelry store and you're looking at the jewelry and you Ah, let's buy this and let's buy that and you carry it with you put it in a bag and you head off on an excursion you made a target of yourself carrying jewelry around that they saw you just buy so always always be careful of your surroundings and especially if you're a single female traveling on your own please please be careful and be careful of the over friendly staff when you're traveling well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.